I'm going to guess that almost every person in this room can think of a friend that wouldn't be their friend if one of these two hadn't brought them together. They're so warm and they have that inclusivity that's just so infectious and we're so lucky to have benefited from it. And I think we should take it all on ourselves to emulate them today. I know how much joy they will both get to see all their different groups of friends and family getting along and getting to know each other and making new memories. I didn't ever think my son could grow or become a happier or better person until a lady walked into his life. She makes Jonathan's life better in every way possible. We are blessed as parents to have this cracking lad. We are now blessed as parents to have this beautiful daughter-in-law. And I hope that the love that you have grows stronger and brighter every day. I love you. Now, people will ask how's married life, and it's easy to answer, eh, same. But you'll soon find that being husband and wife is an amazing change you can't explain. See, marriage puts you on a track where any problems will get sorted, because you know someone's always got your back, you're a team, and you'll always be supported. And choices will feel more special now, because although individually you're clever, it's more special making decisions now, because you'll be making them together. You see, marriage is like a reassuring stamp of how you'll never feel alone, like even when FJ's far away at camp, you'll somehow still always be at home. I can't wait to see what your future holds, but I know it's one with love and laughter. Until you're both ripe and old, you've both got your happily ever after. So now this will be the time I'd ask for anyone present who had a lawful reason why these two cannot marry to speak up now. I'm not going to, because you had eight months since the invites come out. And what's the point of today? <laughs> so, please, repeat after me. I, Anya Sophie Ellen de Beal. I, Anya Sophia Ellen de Beal. Take you, Jonathan Michael Carter. Take you, Jonathan Michael Carter. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To love and to cherish to love and to cherish for the rest of our lives for the rest of our lives and now John I Jonathan Michael Carter I Jonathan Michael Carter take you Anya Sophia Ellen de Beal. take you Anya Sophia Ellen de Beal. to be my wedded wife to be my wedded wife to love and to cherish to love and to cherish for the rest of our lives for the rest of our lives by the powers invested in me by the internet guys I now pronounce you <laughs> Mrs. Carter to Beal, you may kiss each other. someone just like you, someone who, you know, like finished your sentences or, you know, was just that other half of you. And I didn't, I didn't want that. That's not what I wanted to fall in love with. I wanted to fall in love with the best friend. I love my friends. I love, you know, all of you. It's incredible. And to have this woman who is my best friend, who I'd rather spend time with than anybody else. And no matter what happens, you know, tonight's a good example of us being so different. She will be in here dancing until they turn the lights on, until they're like, come on, we really gotta go, you know, and her and Liv will be on a table somewhere. And I'll be sat downstairs drinking bourbon and chatting nonsense with a bunch of people and whoever will listen to me chat and, and everything else. But I know that no matter what happens, at the end of the night, we'll both go up to bed together and we'll crawl into bed and we'll curl up and fall asleep. And in the morning, we'll wake up and we'll tell each other all of the stories that happened from last night and all of the amazing stuff that the other person missed. And no matter what happens, you know, in our lives and everything else, I can't wait to carry on crawling into bed and waking up and telling each other our stories together. So. My 
advice to you two is keep dreaming and living and laughing and loving each other. Keep seeking adventures. Keep remembering that it's part luck and part fate that you even met in the first place. And that all good relationships have fire in them. And it's feeling the heat of that fire that makes us know we're truly alive. It's not about your tax return or your monthly salary or the possessions you've accumulated, the size of your house. It's not even the number of dogs you've ever owned. It's about knowing that you've lived, really lived, and knowing you've loved and been loved. And that's what matters in the end. I look at you two and the way you are together, and I know that for me as Anya's father, I couldn't wish or hope for someone who does that for her more than you do. So thank you. Your future is bright, your love strong, and together, wherever that may be, is where you belong. Two beautiful people who are perfectly suited, who understand each other and whose love can't be disputed. So before I'm too drunk and can't read the next line, here's to John and Anya, let's have a good time. Yeah.